the sights and smells uh, the first few days after the storm hit were uh, were very sobering um, to kind of realize the catastrophe that hit that area and the magnitude that that it was just it was sad right off the bat communications was down which spoke to the seriousness of this storm uh, we had all been hearing that it was more of a storm surge event instead of a rain event and so we were afraid what we were going to find but we couldn't communicate with those in the field to know what we were going to find so fort myers ops was in the in the ground zero with the impact uh, so we didn't have as many people uh, able and ready to work as we thought we would or we could and so it was very nice to have the other districts roll in and help out. Uh, that helped out a lot. A whole pile of people are coming into the yard. And so I turned around and looked, and there was 30 or 40 FDOT trucks with all of their lights flashing and all of their horns blaring. And I cannot express to you, Jared, how good that felt because it felt like we were occupied France and the Americans had just arrived because there were people there to come and help us. Everyone has worked so hard to get to where we are, and we finished 10 days early, 10 days earlier than expected. This morning, as we opened the roadway and we saw the line of traffic coming through, as tired and exhausted as everyone was, to see the people lined up on the side of the road, holding signs, talking about how excited they were to return to Sanibel, and just so excited to see us coming that way to let them know that they could get access, it, it brought tears to a lot of us. The resiliency of our partnership where our consultant community and the contractor community stepped up to be with my star team who's out there to make it happen is what made Sanibel a success, is what made the storage pine island a success. So we are so thankful for everyone who participated.